Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ree's Kitchen. Today, we're gonna to be making my partner Miles' childhood favorite, and that's coconut macaroons. Now these are a pretty simple recipe, but let's get into it. So first up we have vanilla essence, some salt, corn flour, sugar, eggs, and shredded coconut. Shredded coconut, and this is unsweetened shredded coconut, which is the most common form found here in Australia, um, comes in many different lengths. So some are quite long and some are quite small. We still wanna have texture, but we certainly don't want something quite that big in our macaroon. And so what we're going to do is pulse it in the food processor just for a minute. Don't wanna turn into flour, just wanna make them all slightly smaller so that we end up with a lovely texture in our macaroon. So just separating your egg whites. So into our egg whites, I'm just going to add our salt and sugar and give that a quick whisk through. So this is now nice and thick and well together. The sugar's not quite dissolved yet, but that's quite all right. There's a lot more mixing to go. So now we just add our vanilla and a little bit of corn flour and keep whisking. So as I'm going, I can hear and feel that the sugar is pretty much dissolved into that. You're no longer feeling that crackle of your whisk hitting the sugar and it's sounding nice and smooth. And what we have is something nice and rich and thick. And so the last step is just to take our coconut and mix it through. And you can see that our coconut still has quite a good lot of um, character to it and a good range of lengths. Okay, so we just fold that through till everything's well incorporated. So with our prepared tray, which has just got a piece of baking paper on it, now with a teaspoon, just get some nice rounded amount on your spoon and then pop it on your tray. Now these won't spread, so we don't have to worry about giving them too much room. You'll get quite a few on this tray. So now that batch has made 40 of our wonderful macaroons and we pop those into our preheated oven at 180 for 15 to 20 minutes until they're nice and golden. So at 15 minutes, these are ready. You can see that they're quite golden and what we want is not only the tops to be golden, but also the bottoms. So now with, as with all good gluten-free cooking, we need to let these sit on the tray for about five minutes to cool down before we pop them on our rack to fully cool and then we can have them with a cup. Can't wait. So don't forget, for all the details of the recipe from today, check out my blog at the link below. And now, as always, the best bits in the Asian. Mmm, they're crunchy, they're sweet. In fact, they're divine. Until next time, everybody. Ciao.